What's up, people? It's your boy, DJ Dingley, coming at you here to share a little hack that I had to use to get myself broadcasting on Instagram. Now, with the COVID situation, everybody locked in, a lot of DJs going on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, and playing their sets. It doesn't just have to be DJs. It could be anybody. Maybe you're making beats. Maybe you're playing an instrument of some sort. Who knows? But you have something that you want to share on Instagram Live, and you want the audio to be nice and clean. You're gonna use a 3.5 jack input to your phone. The other end of that cable, who knows? It depends on what equipment you have, but I needed to get audio into my phone to broadcast clean audio onto Instagram Live. I had a discussion with some other people. They told me, you gotta get an iRig. I looked into it. First thing I noticed was the price. I didn't like that. Second thing I noticed was the availability online was pretty minimal because apparently everybody's snatching them up. So my next resort was to go find a 3.5 millimeter jack with a TRRS head, right? Which means tip ring ring sleeve. This is a tip that has a microphone input and when you plug it into your phone, your phone will recognize that microphone input and will take any audio coming into that input and send it to your broadcast, right? That's what we want. So after I decided I wasn't gonna go the iRig way, I went down to the store and got this. Right tip, but it has two 3.5 inputs on the other end. I tried to use this, tried to hook it up. I don't think I did anything wrong, but no matter what I tried to do, I could not get the audio to play on my phone. So what do you do then? Well, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make it myself. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Check it out. Okay, so you wanna go to the dollar store and pick up a headset that you would use to talk on your phone. Some of the things you have to make sure that the unit has before you purchase it is something like this. You know, these things that allow you to adjust the volume on a phone call or hang up. But most important, you have to have a TRRS connector, right? So you're gonna look for the pin that has three bands, not two. If you're buying the one that has two bands, it's the wrong one, it won't work. Let's get started. Another thing that uh, has me a little worried is this connector has two wires glued together going into the terminal. I haven't worked with something with two wires, but we're going to find out really quickly if that matters or not. So other than the two wires, the other things that you're going to need to do to the project include some kind of locking needle nose pliers, wire strippers, a soldering iron, some heat shrink, some solder, a heating device like a hair dryer, and most importantly, a digital multimeter. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides here because I'm a right-handed guy. And this is gonna be kind of interesting with this particular cable because it comes in two sides uh, and they're separate. So the cable we're gonna join it to which is one side is TRS, see? And it's one cable and one single insulator, which this one is kind of, kind of dual, but we're gonna work with it. We'll probably end up getting it to work. So I'm not worried. If I'm not worried, you shouldn't be worried. So let's put this apart. Get my trusty, my favorite wire strippers over here. I bought these in college when I was doing like my electronics engineering course and uh, ended up being my favorite pair of strippers. So that's one and that's two. They're a little bit uneven, so let me even this out. Maybe a little more. There, so what do we have here? We have something very interesting. Four wires here, and two wires here, okay, as you can see it here. I'm going to guess at this time that the copper wire is the, sh the shield. One of these is a microphone, one of these is a left channel, and one of these is a right channel. Now, how am I going to verify it? 
I'm gonna get my tester. All right, so let's recap a little bit. So this terminal, which is uh, TRRS, right? And the reason why it's TRRS, because the top part is the tip, ring, ring, sleeve. And this translates into the left channel, the right channel, the ground, and the microphone. And this is what we really want here because this is what's gonna give us our input to our Android phones. Sorry, Apple people, this ain't gonna work for you depending on what model Apple phone you have, but this is going to be the microphone input, right? So again, one of these, I'm guessing one of these uh, colored shield cables is going to be the right channel, the left channel, and the microphone. And I'm pretty sure that all these silver ones are gonna be the ground or the the sleeve the shielding okay so how we're gonna how we're gonna figure this out we're going to use our tester but first I gotta try and strip these and um, you're gonna want to strip a little bit more insulation off I'm going to do that right now so that you have more room to work with and don't worry if you got your uh, what do you call these things uh, your shrink tubes uh, buy some shrink tubing if you don't have shrink tubing or if you can't get a hold of any shrink tubing it's okay just use electrical tape but it's not the most professional look if you know what I mean all right now this is a very you got to be very delicate here so mm. I have to adjust the, the safety nut Okay, here we go. Just want to do a little bit of this. I don't want to totally. Wow, this cable is very, very cheap. Okay, so let's do some testing right now. I'm going to set my meter to the diode test where I'm going to get a little bell when I get the right one. Let's test our microphone first. So I'm gonna hold that there. Actually, let's test the shield. This is a very finicky test because you have to try and hold this down to the pin. There you go. If I can get that again. No. Okay, so it's 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 gone off. It's hard to get. So I'm gonna test for the tip now. There we go. So the green is the left channel. That's been established. So now I'm gonna try and test for the right channel. And I gotta make sure that the contacts are actually hitting that channel too, right? So the green is the left, and the red is probably the right, I'm gonna guess. Looks like I'm wrong. Let's try the blue. Yeah, the blue is the right. So the blue is the right, the green, sorry, the green, yeah, the blue is the right, the green is the tip or the left, and the red must be the microphone. This is gonna be kind of hard to try. I, I don't think I can use my clip because of where it sits. It's a bit too thick. So I'm gonna hold it down with the red, and I'm gonna take with the red cable and I'm gonna take the red wire and try and test this. Boom, that's exactly what we want. So we know the red microphone, the red wire is the microphone cable, right? And that's the bottom section here. It's gonna be the bottom section of my TRS pin, 3.5, right here. So I gotta take the other side of the cable I'm going to make, which is going to be this, and I'm going to replace it with 
this part here. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to strip the wire here. And you gotta be really careful because the wire is very, very thin. Okay. And the fact that it's red doesn't help. So one thing that you gotta be careful about here is uh, there is some, let me see if I can get this in focus. We have some, cape, some insulated material here mixed in with the copper shielding or the copper, the actual wire, the conductor. And I'm sorry I can't get this, uh, I'm having trouble getting this focus. There we go. There's some thread here or some insulated material mixed in with this. Uh, see my dirty thumbnails? Yeah, so there's some insulated material mixed in with the conductor. And you wanna separate that before we begin to solder. Okay, so I've separated the two. I'm gonna just start the soldering process. Before you do the soldering process, make sure you put your shrink tube on either side of the cable before you start. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do this all over again. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on the TRS side. And this is a better quality cable right away off the bat. The, um, the wire's gonna be thicker, it's gonna be way easy to work with in the dollar store cable. Be very careful when you cut this wire. Too much force and you'll break the, you'll snap the cables inside. Right away you can see this cable is far superior to, than the dollar store cable, right? Because the cables, the, the wires we wanna use have a nice insulation around it. It's very easy to tell which one's which. So now you guys know the difference in price when you go get cables and the thickness. Sometimes it, you know, it shows in the price. If it's really cheap, then guess what? It's going to be really cheap. So if you have an old headset from a previous phone that you don't use, use that cable instead of going to the dollar store and getting a dollar store cable because they're really, really, really poor but it still might just do the job. Now we're gonna do the test. Ground. I'm gonna just test for ground, and I'm gonna test the tip, which is the left or right channel, okay? Because we only have three here. If I know two, I know what the last one is. So the red is the left channel, the white is the right channel. Um, it doesn't really matter which channel you use, they're both gonna get audio, or you can use all three for best results. So now we're gonna to start to solder.
good. Solder drop is not great. It's really hard to work with wires this small. And if anybody you were watching me and know how to solder, you're gonna be like, wow, that was a pretty bad solder job. You can see the wire started to melt, but when you're working with wire this thin, it's not easy, but it will work. And that's all I care about. It's not pretty, but we're gonna shrink to it anyways. Okay, now it's time to test our work. Let's see if we work successfully. Excellent, we are good to go. Okay, so we're pretty much done. The cable is made and it's finished, it's ready to go. This side, you're gonna plug into your phone because this is, this is the TRRS side that goes into your phone. And the other side is probably gonna go into an adapter, which is gonna go to the output of your sound device. All right, guys, I hope this works for you and enjoy. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and share it with as many people as you think can benefit from this video.